Hi, have you ever wondered how some people can attend so many live events and still have a profitable business? Hi, I'm Michelle Sism, the Six Figure Results Lady from DecisiveMinds.com and today I wanted to answer a question from my father, Johnny Meir, who is an amazing entrepreneur and you know that person who's always keeping me in check about my business. So my dad asked me how it could be profitable for me to be traveling to so many events throughout the year. Sometimes I'm going, you know, maybe as a speaker, other times I'm going as a participant. I go to about six or eight three day events a year. So I started thinking that maybe you might have the same question and the answer is that I understand the lifetime value of a new customer. And knowing that, then I know how much I can spend to get a new customer. So let's say, for example, that when you get a new client, you know they will spend on average a certain amount of money with you each year, right? Maybe that's $3,000. And you should also know how long that they will work with you on average. Let's say your average client stays with you for two years. That means that when you get a new client, you can expect them to bring into your business about $6,000, and that's not even looking at the referrals that they might bring you. So if I know that a new client will bring me $6,000 over the next two years, then I just have to evaluate the trip based on the possibility of getting at least one new client. Now I might not leave there with a contract in hand, but if I leave there with enough new connections to be able to convert into one new client, then I'm ahead of the game, right? For him, I can equate that to the trucking business. When we were building the trucking business, we would take potential new clients hunting and fishing and support their kids' baseball teams. All of those things cost money. It was, you know, and that was also prior to them becoming a client. That was all it took. He understood that you have to look at these trips as an investment in the future of your business, not as an immediate expense. This is an example of how an entrepreneur evaluates a situation. Okay, I hope that helps. If you like this tip and if you would like to learn more about how to build a successful, thriving business, I encourage you to visit us at www.decisiveminds.com. You can also submit your own questions by sending an email to info at decisiveminds.com. This is Michelle Sism saying, be decisive. Bye-bye.